Our headlines this morning. The return of the foreign holiday. From July 6th, British tourists will be allowed to travel to European countries, including Spain, France and Greece, without having to self-isolate when you fly back to the UK. More mass gatherings as Liverpool fans are urged to stay at home after huge crowds descended on the city centre last night. In West London, there were clashes as police tried to break up an illegal street party. Praise for the actions of a Glasgow police officer who was one of six people injured during a stabbing attack at a hotel in which the suspect was shot dead. Good morning. Liverpool's title-winning captain Jordan Henderson says there's plenty more to come from his side as Liverpool are on course to set a Premier League points record. We know Strictly's on his way back, but what does the future hold for socially distanced dance? Let's have a look at some of the front pages of the newspapers for you right now. So holiday season is back on. The announcement in The Times. Lots on that in our programme this morning. The paper saying that tourists will be able to visit more than 15 countries as travel restrictions are easing. The front page also includes a photo of Emily Evis, co-organiser of Glastonbury Festival, marking... What would have been its 50th anniversary this weekend, of course, cancelled because of the pandemic. Uh, the Daily Mail leads with summer getaways and suggests that some tour operators could offer discounts of up to 70% on trips to European holiday destinations. Daily Express featuring a warning from the Prime Minister about the dangers of flouting social distancing rules after what the paper describes as chaotic scenes on the beaches early this week. Boris Johnson warned the public not to put the lives of the elderly at risk by becoming cavalier about the coronavirus threat. The Scottish Herald describes the scenes in Glasgow yesterday as a bloodbath in the city. This is after a man was shot dead by police after stabbing six people at a hotel. The Queen and the Prime Minister have paid tribute to veterans and serving military personnel as the nation prepares to mark Armed Forces Day. Normally events are held across the UK, but coronavirus means most of the celebrations will be online for the first time this year. Military bands will commemorate the day with performances streamed on the Armed Forces Facebook and Twitter pages. The Red Arrows display will also be shown. Zoos and aquariums in England are set to receive up to £100 million from the government to help them deal with the financial fallout of the pandemic. It's an expansion of a relief fund announced in May. Zoos and aquariums in England were allowed to reopen two weeks ago but still remain closed in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. 